Blessings to you. Glory to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and let us be glad in it. Well, it's an interesting topic today. And that question I pose to you, does it matter to you who answers your prayer? Stay tuned for this. Well, it does matter to me that my prayers are answered by the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth and that all there is. He is the great I am. He is the great I am. And he is the God of Abraham. He is the God of Isaac. And he is the God of Jacob. And he is also the father of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, yes. God who manifests in the flesh. So it matters to me who answers my prayer. I will wait on the Lord because beside him there is no other. The word of God tells us that unto us there is but one God, the father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I'm telling you all, you better be watchful in these social media streets. Because a lot of people are bringing teaching that may have you in a mess that you cannot get out of. Yes, because without the Lord Jesus, there is no forgiveness of sin. Yes, God is righteous. And he has said that Jesus is the only truth, the only life, and the only way to the Father. Now, the Bible tells us that the blood of the Lord Jesus has cleansed us from all of our sin. Thankful for that. Because I, because of the blood of Jesus cleansing me from all my sin, I can come boldly to the throne of grace. The Bible tells us by the Spirit of Christ, we are able to pray and call out to Father, calling him Abba. So by the Spirit of Christ. And God also says in his word that to God be all the glory. To God be all the glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The name that all the demons tremble at hearing, Jesus. The Christ. Yes, Yeshua. So, does it matter to you who answers your prayer? We see in the Bible where Jesus, even our Lord and our Savior, who manifests in the flesh as he was in the wilderness, he was being tempted by that old defeated Satan. Yes, Jesus defeated him, but he was tempting him in the in the in the wilderness okay he was tempting the lord in the wilderness because jesus came to pay the price for our sin he became our sin on that cross and he gave us his righteousness now in the wilderness he was being tempted by that defeated satan and, of course, he came with us uh, to him when he was hungry. He had been fasting for 40 days. And he said to him, uh, yeah, if you're so hungry, why don't you turn these stones into bread? And Jesus answered, answered that old defeated Satan by saying, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Okay? So glory to God. He also tempted the Lord by saying to him, you see all these kingdoms of the world? He said to him, if you bow down and worship me, I will give you all of these kingdoms of the world. And again, Jesus said, no, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Okay? So, glory to God. Does it matter who answers? Yes. So, he also t 
tempted the Lord by saying, jump off this cliff, the highest point in Jerusalem, and the angels will keep you from from dashing your foot against, from hitting your foot against that stone. And Jesus answered him, do not put the Lord your God to the test. So does it matter who answers your prayer? It matters. It matters. So you better be watchful in these social media streets because there is a lot of teaching that's going on in the social media streets and i'm telling you some of it is guiding you into satan to answer your prayers it matters okay first of all let's see how you say how do i test how do i test to see if a spirit is actually from god the Bible says, this is how you test the spirit to see if it's from God. The spirit that confessed that Jesus Christ is God who manifests in the flesh is from God. The Holy Spirit, and they have the Holy Spirit for their source. Now, we know that uh, the enemy, Satan, was Lucifer, was kicked out of heaven because he wanted the praise that belonged to God. He was kicked out of heaven for such a thing as trying to get the praise upon him. So when you see people saying, I manifested this, and I manifested this, and I manifested this, and this is how I got it. I, 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 I. And in that you don't hear any to God be the glory or thankful unto the Lord for what he has done. That is how you test the spirit. God never told you that you had to. I've seen teaching that said, oh, if you drink this water, putting two cups in front of you, oh, drink this water here, and it will be for your current situation, and you will drink the water, and the water will go down in you, and then you will have instant manifestation in 24 hours of your request. <laughs> Sounds like that old thief defeated Satan because the Bible says, the Bible says, I will bless your water and I will bless your bread and I will take sickness away from you. So, and we are thankful that now we have Jesus Christ, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And we know that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we were healed. So when you acknowledge God and drinking your water, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this water. But God says, by the spirit of Christ, you pray to Father God. And when you get answer prayer, the Bible says when your wealth increase, don't ever say that it was by your own hand that you got it. Say and give glory to God that it was he who manifest that answered prayer. Yes. So does it matter who answers your prayer? It matters to me. I'll wait on the Lord because he has given us all things already through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have no problem with affirmations and confessions because God says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. I will give you the desires of your heart. God already says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water, which is him. Oh, yes, indeed. God says to give him all the glory. You know, our Father God is a very jealous God. <gasps> oh, oh, did you call God jealous? He's jealous for his praise. He says it in his word. He's jealous for his praise because all things were created by him, the heavens, the earth, and the universe. He never told us to pray to the universe. He told us that he created the universe. So therefore, we pray to Father God. We thank him for the universe. Yes, the universe obeys him. The universe obeys him because Father sits high and he looks low. He's Seated in Christ, he's seating in heavenly places. He's heaven is his throne, earth is his footstool, and we as his children are seated high in Christ in heavenly places. So does it matter 
Who answers your prayer? Are you so desperate that you will listen to the deception of Satan? And then when you get the manifestation, you go and go about saying, I manifest this and I did this and I did that and I got this. Where is the praise? Hmm? Oh, I discern who's speaking from that foolery. That old defeated Lucifer, Satan spirit. So dear heart, boo, I know your bank account is filled. I know you have plenty of followers and subscribers and viewers who are clicking on, but I'm telling you, is it worth it to have Satan, the Lucifer defeated foe, answer your prayers so that you can give him glory you better watch it you better watch it because you are trying to lead god's sheep and lambs astray with your foolery that is from greed so i know you say well look at how many views you got and look at how many subscribers you have I'll just sit right here and wait on the Lord. Keep watching because God is faithful. And how many want to hear that Jesus be exalted and to God be the glory for everything? How many? God said, it's wide is the road to destruction and narrow is the road to him. So does it matter who answers your prayer? It matters to me. And it matters to the Lord for his little lambs who are following you in that foolery. So again, let's go to God's word in terms of prayer. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Mm -hmm. Delight thyself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. There's nothing wrong with, you call it scripting. I call it writing a vision down, making it plain. And when you have manifestation, to God be the glory. Not that I drank this cup of water and I manifest it. Where is to God be the glory in that? Mm -hmm. In these social media streets, be discerning. The Bible also said, cast thy, cast thy burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Again, this is Psalm 102, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing and praising him. God says, whatever you ask in prayer, whatever you desire in prayer, and you pray to Father God and you know he heard you, then you shall have what you ask for. But when you get manifestation of answer prayer, to God be all the glory. Say that with me. To God be all the glory for the things he has done. <laughs> Say that with me. To God be all the glory for the things he has done. He has fed me. He has clothed me. He has taught me. He has poured his love in me. Thank God for the Holy Spirit anointing. To God be all the glory. Read. Hallelujah. So, into God's presence with praise and thanksgiving. I've seen videos on how people lighten candles and crystals and they are doing all of this and rubbing bellies of statues and they are doing all of this and that and this and that and this and that. For what? You want the enemy to give you the kingdoms of the world? Is it worth your soul? No. So does it matter who answers your prayer? Yes, it matters who answers your prayer. i rather wait on the Lord. And yes, he is faithful in the name of Jesus. Thankful unto him and bless his holy name. God doesn't have any, God doesn't mind you. 
He doesn't have any problem with you prospering. He just desires the glory. And I believe also that God has also had mercy on people who have been so foolish because everything good comes from God. And God says in his word, he will cause his sun to shine on the righteous and even the unrighteous. So in those cases, I believe that God is still indeed faithful. But in those times when a prayer is answered and you go and give the glory to yourself, Instead of God, when you bypass giving glory to him, that you rather give it to something that he created, which is the universe, instead of saying to God, be glory, you are in error, sweet love. You are in error. Get into the word of God so that you can uh, give him the glory. Yes. So I pray that this, 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 even though I have been joyful in the Lord, I am not playing. This is very, very serious. And the Lord told me to put this video out. And I am following his anointing instruction in Christ in me, the hope of glory to God be glory for putting this video out. So that if someone who did not know, because, you know, even Jesus when he was on the cross said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. You know, so I forgive you if you knew not what you're, if you know not what you're doing, I forgive you. And I'm sure God in his mercy, if you cry out to him and ask him for forgiveness, he will forgive you. But you know what? You need to also consider in the Bible, there was a lady who was a, um, she was into divination and she was into uh, pretty much um, this kind of mess that was um, uh, not giving God glory and she was open up to the dark side and she was making her masters lots of money doing her witchery and her foolery and so the disciples went and they were going there to preach and um this woman um the lord moved upon upon the disciples to cast the devil out of her and then all of her masters were angry with her because she wasn't able to make any more of them money and um, they were angry with the disciples for casting the devil out of her because of remember God is the one that works in us that's the anointing God works in us to will to do his good pleasure so God worked in them to cast the devil out so in the name of Jesus you see there the woman was manifesting money <laughs> money this is that's what everyone was talking about manifesting money and this and that money and some people look at money to believe but honey no and so she got free she got delivered delivered from those devils so you need to know and that is why this video is up today so in the midst of those who if you still continue to after hearing this video to go after the crystals and after the Ouija board and the crystal balls and the candles and drinking water trying to manifest something doing all of these tricks where Jesus never said you had to do anything all he had to say to do anything like that is come boldly to the throne of grace and ask in my name Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God does not mind you being wealthy, rich, and having those material things that you are seeking. Just give him the glory for what he manifest in your life as a prayer that was prayed to him. But if you continue wanting to give the glory to yourself and the universe and talking about what you've done, leading the people into your dead works instead of giving God the praise, then hey, I guess, like the topic, does it matter who answers your prayer? I choose Jesus. Jesus, Yeshua the Lord, for my prayers being answered. And remember, on the cross, he gave us everything. So we stand from a point of victory. And yes, I am blessed. I am blessed. 
And you can certainly say that because God says, I have blessed you with all spiritual blessings. So I pray that this, this broadcast has been a blessing to you. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you'll be notified for future videos in the future. Also, uh, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, just ask God in your heart. Dear Lord, forgive me of all my sins. I ask that you cleanse me with your precious blood. I ask that you fill me with the power of your Holy Spirit. And I pray that you live in me and through me that I may have fellowship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, blessings and welcome to The Favorite Fam. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video.